Hey guys, in previous video we we have discussed about um, the basic terms that are used in statistical analysis, that is average standard deviation and relative standard deviation, along with their formulas. And uh, we have already discussed a very simple example to show uh, how these terms can be calculated, uh, how these uh, uh, you can say how formula can be applied to that uh, simple data set. In today's video, we discussed uh, uh, that how you can apply these uh, analysis tool for calculating uh, uh, your ex the basic results about your experimental data. For example, if you are uh, doing your research project and you want to calculate its standard deviation average and relative standard deviation, then uh, there are two ways to calculate them. That is, you can either use uh, any software or you can use it uh, in excel sheet the third and the most time taking uh, process is to uh, use these formula or uh, you can apply these formula manually which is a time consuming and very laborious work okay so we usually avoid this manual uh, task so this video is uh, about how to calculate average standard deviation and relative standard deviation of your data in excel sheet so for this reason you just uh, uh, for example if you have a data like this uh, you you have performed your experiment in duplicate or triplicate um, uh, either you have two samples or three samples or uh, four or five it's depend that how many samples you have uh, then you can apply these uh, statistical tools for data analysis so keep in mind that uh, for one sample only you are not be able to apply average and um, standard deviation in RST because uh, in all these statistical tools you need to provide uh, you need to give uh, more than two or more than two samples okay so um, for this reason either you have to take um, uh, perform one ex one experiment in duplicate or in triplicate so here the data set is about triplicate experiment that is the experiment is repeated three times and the results are mentioned here with a minor difference and you want to calculate uh, um, know about its average so what uh, what would you do uh, like for sample one sample two and sample three percentage removal is given here uh, and you want to calculate its average so uh, we write above as average uh, average because uh, Okay, so for taking average of each sample, for example, uh, for this um, 0.1 ppm concentration, I want to take the average. So what would I do? I simply uh, type equal and then I would type uh, average uh, as you um, as you can see here that here the word average appears. So I also write above average then I start um, a bracket. A small bracket and then I will select the data points for which I want to take average for example if I want to take average of this I will select them and then I, I close the um, small bracket and then press enter so this is one of the method of uh, taking average the other simple method you can say is is to uh, type the sign of equal then write average then start small bracket you can manually uh, type the cell number here as well as column name for example you are you want to take the average from column b to column d and uh, for for column b what will be the row number that is 3 that is you will write b3 and then will type colon and then d3 okay then close the small bracket because uh, you want to take the average of these three sample values uh, that will start from b and in row number 3 to D column with row number 3 okay so you can um, type them manually or you can also uh, select them as well in this form okay so when you type uh, your formula here you just uh, answer will appear you just need to uh, for example uh, here you can see the cursor it is white in color right now when you press uh, keep this cursor here at this point it will become black so you need to press left key and uh, scroll it down uh, till the, your data point so it will automatically calculate average of all these samples for example if i keep a cursor here 
you can see in formula bar it shows it it is a uh, average of b8 to d8 so you can see it is around number 8 so it is the average of b8 to d8 so it will automatically calculate average of each data point okay so here you can calculate average of your experimental data the next one is standard deviation which is at, um, also written as sd so for sd calculation uh, you also need to type first of all uh, in excel sheet for writing any formula or equation first of all you type equal sign okay so you type equal and then start writing standard deviation st dev so uh, for standard deviation for average we write complete uh, spelling of average but for standard deviation we write as st dev standard deviation then uh, start small bracket and for um, what point you want to take the um, standard deviation you need to select the data points okay uh, after selecting uh, close the small bracket as and then press enter here you can see the standard deviation has appeared so keep cursor here in that answer and then keep your cursor at this point press left cursor and then scroll it down and the answer will automatically appear for each uh, data point for point 1 standard deviation is point 9 for point um, data point uh, 2 that is point 0 point uh, 2 uh, standard deviation comes out to be point 0.5 and so on okay so the third uh, one is rst that is relative standard deviation for relative standard deviation we usually write it in abbreviation form like rst so for rst calculation uh, we uh, have to uh, we have already checked its formula that for rst uh, we use formula like uh, we divide standard deviation with mean value and then multiply it with 100 so we have to write this formula here that is um, first of all we will type equal and then we need to divide this standard deviation this standard deviation data answer with this average value and then we have to multiply the answer with 100 in order to get rst in percentage okay so first of all we start small bracket then write standard deviation it is in f column and what is the row number it is 3 so we write f3 that it is automatically marked as um, below in below okay so we write f3 that is standard deviation it will be divided by um, standard deviation divided by mean value so mean value is in e column so i will write e and what is the row number 3 so e3 and then I will close the small bracket and then divide it the answer with 100. So after putting my formula, I will press enter. And here you can see it is the um, calculation of RST. So keep cursor here and then scroll it down. So here you can see um, the complete uh, answer of average standard deviation and rst for your experimental data okay so in this way you can uh, you, you can report these results in your research paper as well as in research thesis as well okay so uh, when you write your uh, average percentage for example if you are writing your average percentage for example if you can you say that at one ppm concentration uh, maximum dye or maximum metal has been removed so what so what is the percentage here 92.9 so you will write it as you get the 92.9 percent uh, uh, of uh, removal of dye or metal and then you need to write the standard deviation with this value as well for writing this standard deviation you need to add a symbol here now for that go to insert point and then uh, from this menu bar okay and then click on symbol after clicking uh, you uh, a dialog box like this will open uh, for example from this dialog box you have to select plus minus sign uh, as it i already use it so it comes here plus minus okay so if uh, if you are new user to this um, excel sheet or you have not used this symbol before you have to search this symbol in um, this uh, menu bar okay so after clicking uh, after clicking on this plus minus insert um, click on insert and then close so this symbol will appear and then you need to write standard deviation with this value that is 0 0.435 okay so here you can uh, uh, change the font size as well so i will keep it as 
12 n times new roman or uh, you can any, any font style or any font uh, um, number you want to apply okay so here in this form you need to write your experimental data that is percentage removal is 92.9 plus minus 0.435 it means uh, this your answer this is your calculated answer okay but in actuality your answer will be 0.4 0.4 less than 90 uh, that is uh, you have to subtract 92 minus 0.4 that is your answer will be 0.4 point less or 0.4 point greater than your expected value so in this way you have to um, express your ex experimental result in your research paper and thesis in plus minus form it is known as standard deviation okay so also you need to take this average value for expressing your data not these values because the uh, there are may, might be some uh, error in this value so use average value along with your standard deviation and also make a new column for rsd you also need to add um, this rsd data in your experimental result so in this way you can express your um, whole experimental uh, results in the form of standard deviation okay so in many papers you can find this uh, standard deviation uh, formula and equations here you can see um, i have shared a paper with you they have calculated um, standard deviation as well that is their actual result is 4.28 plus minus 0.02 uh 4.6 is plus minus 0.12 so these plus minus represent uh standard deviation values of your experimental data um they also mentioned uh, so either the results are significantly different or not that is from that uh, will be concluded from uh p value so in next video we will discuss how to calculate p value what is p and uh, when the results are significantly different what does it mean and when they are significant they are not uh, significantly different then what should i do uh, either we have to reject um, or either we have to accept the null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis so uh, these are topics will be covered in next video till then um, allah hafiz and stay tuned with young researchers and if you find this video useful you can share it with your colleagues and friends as well so that others may also get benefit from it so stay tuned with the researchers uh, keep watching thank you very much for your time allah hafiz